Hello, sir. How are you? My name is James. I'm one of the EMTs. I'm Andrew. I'm also one of the EMTs. James, do you want to do a uh, assessment of the HMP? Sure. All right. Excellent. How are you doing, sir? My name is Andrew. How are you doing today? Not well. Sir, I have a few questions I need to ask you really quick. I know they're going to sound silly, but please do your best to answer them for me. Do you know what today is? Uh, Wednesday. Wednesday, okay. Do you know who the president is? Uh, Ronald Reagan. Okay, and do you know where you are? Uh, I'm in my bed. You're in your bed, okay. S Sir, is it alright if I touch you do some vital signs? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. I'm just going to put a pulse ox on your finger, and I'm going to take your blood pressure. Alright, so uh, he only answered two or three questions, so we'll make him a V, if he's verbal. All right, sir. So what? Uh, so what's the? Uh, would you call us here for today? Uh, I just don't feel right. I'm very tired. You're tired. Okay. Anything else bothering you? No, no, it's not right. Okay. So it's a, little, it's a little warm in here too. It's a little warm in here too. Okay. So can you uh, tell me when, how, about how, when did this start? Uh, about an hour ago. Okay. Does anything make it feel better or worse? No. Nothing makes it feel better. All right. And is, can you describe it to me? You just say you feel tired. Is there anything else you can describe it as? Uh, just like a generalized. Weakness. Just weak. Okay. Does it stay anywhere? Is it any one place? Is it your entire body, or does it move somewhere? Uh, it's kind of all over. All over. Okay. Yeah. I have some vital signs to you. Sure. Uh, his pulse ox is 98. Okay. His blood pressure of 110 over 70. Okay. His heart rate is 88, and he's breathing at a rate of 14 per minute. All right. Okay. Um, he has an open airway, as I can see. I'm going to check lung sounds and then do a uh, focus, focus exam. What is he complaining of? Uh, He's just tired. It sounds like general malaise. Okay. So, uh, Sir, I'm going to listen to your lungs. Is it okay if I lift up your uh, shirt a little bit? I'm oh, sure. If you need to. Take a deep breath, okay? Sounds are clear. Okay. Andrew, I see a, uh, he's got a medical alert bracelet on here. Cool, check that. I'm going to ask two quick questions and then we'll press forward to that. So he's uh, diabetic. Okay. Okay. All right, that's good to know. Sir, is, uh, how bad is this on a scale of 1 to 10? 10 being the worst and 1 being the least? Well, uh, I don't know if I can rate it. I really don't know. Okay, fair enough. Has this ever happened before in the past? Uh, not that I can remember. Okay. Did you ask him if he uh, took anything? Or anything? Yep, I'm about to get there for you. So, um, do you have any allergies to any medications? Uh, no. Okay. Do you take any medications? We see you have a medical alert bracelet on. Oh, I think so. I really can't remember. Okay. Do you have any medical problems that you can? Um, um, yeah, yeah, I have to eat uh, every so often. I'm diabetic. Okay. Is there anything else we should know about? No, that's it. Okay. James, what else did it say on the medical with bracelet? Oh, um, we just said that he's a diabetic. Just a diabetic? Yeah. Okay. When was the last time you did have something to eat or drink? Uh, I can't remember. Can't remember. Okay. All right. So why don't we? Uh, Do you want to check his sugar? Yeah. Why don't we check his sugar? Does so, he generally check it, or? Sir, when was the last time you checked your sugar? I can't remember. Okay. Why don't we just go ahead okay. and check it? So I'm gonna do it. Sir, I'm gonna do a finger stick on you. Okay, to check your sugar level. Is that okay? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. So I'm gonna check his finger stick. Thirty. Bring your sick is 30. All right, so that's pretty low. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking we should give him um, a tube of glucose. Yeah, I'm concerned. 
hypoglycemia, right? Yeah, I'm thinking he has low blood sugar, absolutely. He's okay. a lot of mental status. So I'll get so. it out of the bag and you want to continue that? Yeah, actually, uh, I think we're good because we got his full set of vitals. We got all your history. Sir, when was your birthday? Can you tell me your birthday? Oh, yeah, it's uh, December 13th. Um, I can't remember the year right now. That's okay. And how old are you? Uh, 20, 27. 27, okay. Um, check that expiration date. It's good. Uh, we have very patient, right time, right uh, dose, and uh, we're going to do it through uh, PL. Yeah, we'll do a PL. Good, you got Sir, it. I'm going to give you some uh, glucose, okay? It's going to go right in your mouth, right between your gums. All right. All right? Should you treat your uh, your low blood sugar, we're hoping. Sounds good. We should check his vitals in about three minutes, okay. just to make Reassess sure. Him. Yeah, we'll see how he's doing after that. I'll, uh, so uh, let's just get, while he's doing that, let's get a general impression. So okay. we have about a 27-year-old male, uh, weak and tired, um, verbal on an AFPU scale. He was only able to answer two of the three questions. So ANO times two? ANO times two. Um, we just gave him an amp of glucose, or a, a tube of glucose. Um, we'll see if it goes from there. We'll take our vitals in a couple minutes. Are you good for that? Do you need me to take vitals? Yeah, um, that's fine. I can do vitals. Do you want to just do a full head to toe? Uh, sure. Do vitals? Yes, that's just fine. Just to make sure there's that's nothing absolutely sure. I'll do a set of full set. Okay. Sir, I'm going to check your entire body from head to toe to make sure there's nothing we're missing, okay? Okay. All right. So, I'm going to pull your shirt up and down and whatnot, okay? Are you comfortable with that? Yeah, if you need to. Okay. So I'm inspecting his head, I don't see anything there. I don't see any JVD or trach shift. His airway, like you said, looks clear. He's starting to feel a little better, actually. That's very good to hear, sir. He's very warm to touch. His respirations seem to be fine. I don't see anything on his chest or his abdomen. Sir, I'm gonna press in your abdomen a few times here. I want you to tell me if anything hurts when I press, okay? Okay. Okay. How's that? That's fine. No pain there. How about that time? No, nothing. How about that time? No, we're all good. All right, and how about there? No, no pain. Okay, are you nauseous at all or feel like you need to vomit? Uh, no, I'm actually feeling a lot better. Great, are you dizzy or lightheaded at all? I, I was, but not now. All right, I want to, uh, I want you to grab my hands. I want you to squeeze it as hard as you can, okay? I'm squeezing as hard as I can. Okay. Is the squeezing equal? The squeezing is equal. All right. What uh, what what am I touching on your right hand? All right. Good good, good job, guys. Your case is over. All right. So we're gonna just talk about it real quick. Yeah. All right. Sure. So how do you feel after after this? Um, I felt good. Uh, I think we did all right. Okay. Yeah. So things were a little. No, I was a little nervous coming into this, so. but I thought overall it was all right. Yeah, I was definitely nervous being my first time in here and mm -hmm. actually being ex seeing a patient, trying to figure out how, but I, I think we, we did all right. All right. You want to just take a moment and kind of sum up your, your patient as if you were pulling into the ER and telling the triage nurse what was going on? Sure. Uh, do you want me to do it, Jane? Sure, yeah. Sure. So uh, we have an approximate 27-year-old male. We walked inside the room. He was complaining of being tired, looked like some general malaise. Um, his breathing and his vitals were, his heart rate was 88, blood pressure 110 over 70, he was 98 on the SVO2, and he had a breathing rate of 14. Uh, respiration seemed okay. They were not irregular, and uh, no complaints there. Uh, he was, uh, we checked his uh, mental status, we found out he was uh, V, it was ANO times two, he was unable to tell us who the president was, mm -hmm. um, so that was concerning, kind of led us down uh, an altered mental status path, and then uh, after that I think we did a blood sugar check shortly thereafter, yeah. found out he was 40 I believe. Yeah, I think it was 30 or 40, something like that. Yeah. Much which was a little uh, alarming, so I think we steered from AMS down to a, um, a hypoglycemia case. Right. And um, we gave him a, 
a tube of glucose. Yeah. He was able to take it. He ate it fine. He started feeling fine a couple minutes later. Um, awesome. And then James started taking our three minutes, three to five minutes set of vitals after that. Excellent. And I started doing a full body uh, physical assessment. Absolutely wonderful. Um, so there were a couple things I noticed as we go through the case. We'll kind of just uh, kind of go from things from the beginning towards the end. As I noticed, and I thought it was excellent when you came in and you introduced yourselves. You told them that you're EMTs. Um, but what I noticed was you didn't actually ask him for his name. And I thought that was kind of odd because you weren't able to use his name throughout the case. I was just wondering if you could tell me about that. Wow, I didn't even notice that. I know I just kept on calling him Sir, but yeah. uh, I didn't even catch that. Jeez. I, I guess I got a little tunnel vision going in, right, mm -hmm. going you know, towards the vitals, and I didn't even think to ask him his name. Yeah. Wow, well, yeah, that's uh, that was really important. Man, I bet you he didn't feel too hot about that. Yeah, so we should just maybe remember next time. Uh, you know, introduce ourselves and then ask his name so we can have a conversation with the patient. You did do an excellent job at keeping him kind of informed as what you were doing. James, I noticed you asked, you know, if you could lift up the shirt to listen to lung sounds and um, to take his blood pressure, so I thought yeah. that was excellent. It's always good to keep your patient informed as to what you're doing. Um, another thing I noticed is uh, you, you mentioned the pulse ox was 98%, but you didn't um, put the patient on any oxygen. And I was just curious as to what your thought process was on that. Um, I didn't think he needed it right away. He didn't seem in any uh, respiratory distress. He was breathing at a rate of 14 with a pulse ox of 98. Generally, that's okay uh, when I've seen in patients. Mm -hmm. um, after we gave the glucose, maybe we could have given him some oxygen on the way to the hospital. Mm -hmm. But at the time, we were about to give the, uh, the glucose. I didn't think it was the appropriate time to put it on. What do you think? Was that the right thing, or do you think I should have treated the... Uh, do you have any thoughts on that? I mean, uh, we're told to always put oxygen on in the beginning, but I have to agree with James. I mean, he was breathing fine. He didn't seem to have any respiratory problems of any type. We, James said his airway was clear and his respirations were 14 and deep and mm -hmm. no, no irregularity. Uh, I, maybe I didn't ask you. Did you hear anything when you listened? I don't think no, I should No, I should have shared that information. It was actually clear. I think if I saw him using some like accessory muscles, mm -hmm. maybe if his sat was a little lower, um, I would have been a little more drawn to use the oxygen. Mm -hmm. But um, honestly, when it was when it was fine, I didn't really think to even put it on. Mm -hmm. So, uh, just what are some causes? Uh, we can kind of just go around and just throw a bunch of causes of altered mental status. Besides, we obviously he was hypoglycemic. You guys figured that out. But what are some other causes of hype, altered mental status in patients? Could have a brain injury. Okay, sure. Uh, he could have had a stroke, or uh, he could have hit his head on something. Um, okay. Like, I don't even... Any type of like, substance abuse, alcohol, or drugs. Sure. That's why I actually was concerned if he maybe he took something. Mm -hmm. um, if we didn't find the medical alert for it, like, how do you think we could have found out that he was a diabetic? Do you have any thoughts? Um, if there's nothing in here, I mean, we could have definitely checked like the cabinet to look and see what kind of yeah, medications I, he was on. I didn't think um, about that. We could have definitely split off and done that to see if that was the case. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I mean, uh, if we don't have family immediately available or a way to contact them, uh, I think it's we just have to do our best to figure out what's going on and treat the best treat what we see in front of us. Yeah. So. Let's say he didn't have the medical or appraisal that said he was diabetic. Would you have still given the oral glucose? I think if I, um, I might have done more of a uh, physical assessment on, assessment on him to see yeah. uh, maybe he had some type of trauma to his head mm -hmm. um, before checking the sugar. But if I didn't find anything, I might have checked his sugar because it's a very easy BLS skill to do is check a finger stick. Um, I mean, obviously there it showed us that he was hypoglycemic, which led us to the uh, intervention of glucose. Mm -hmm. but like I said, if I didn't have that, I might have done a little more of assessment. Sure. I think I would have given him the glucose either way. He was off a mental status, and it doesn't hurt to give him some more sugar. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, if his sugar is high, it's high already, and we're going to have to transport him quick. So, what are some reasons we just wouldn't give glucose? Um, unconscious. Okay. Yeah, if you can't protect his airway, yeah. you can't swallow. Or well, if you really can't um, really talk or follow commands at all, I wouldn't give it to him at sure. all. So what do you guys have to do in that case then? If you have a low blood sugar reading on a glucometer uh, and he can't swallow. You know what? We should have uh, pop, We should have called for ALS. Yeah. I didn't think about that. Shoot. 
and can we cut them on the way because then they could at least start an IV and give them uh, give them some dextrose. Yeah, I always forget to think about ALS and calls like this. You know. Well, I, I don't know necessarily that you had to call right away. You had a problem, you were able to treat it, but it's just something to think about. You know, if his airways start to get you know less pain and he start to become more altered. So uh, we're we're kind of running out of time, but just let's wrap up with how um, what would your management be as you as soon as you finish your full, full physical exam? So what would be your next steps in, in taking care of this guy? So uh, package him up, so get him on the stretcher, mm -hmm. um, get him in the ambulance, and just get him to the hospital. Mm -hmm. um, I think since he started getting better, I wouldn't necessarily make him a high priority, mm -hmm. but I don't know, James, how do you feel about that? I, I don't really know if I could go high or low. I would have um, probably reassessed the neuro exam that mm -hmm. um, Andy did. He uh, was asking a lot of uh, basic assessment questions. I probably would have repeated those questions to see sure. if the Absolutely. intervention of the glucose would have helped a little bit. What else can we do to see if our intervention helped? So recheck vitals, and which I think James was trying yeah, to sure. do towards the end there. Um, I, and go, I, I'm sorry. I guess a vital could be considered a finger stick, so we could have rechecked the finger stick. Absolutely, and if it went up, you know that it is. You, you did something, you, you fixed the problem as long as his mental status changes with it. You know, and if he wasn't getting better, but his blood sugar was up, then that's when calling ALS early might be a beneficial thing yeah. to do. Excellent job. Do you guys have any questions about the case or things that we've talked about today that are unanswered or you're not sure about? No, I think uh, that was a lot more clear. I mean, uh, should have called for ALS um, probably maybe sooner, right in the beginning. Made him a high priority since he was older mental. And in case he decompensated on us quickly, so that kind of hits home for me. Yeah. I think next time I could definitely consider other uh, causes of maybe the ultimate status and not, you know, rely on a medical alert. Excellent. All right. Good job, and we'll get ready for the next case. Thanks. Thank you.